Hello, this is Justin at the Tech Train here, and I've got a fantastic presentation in PowerPoint here. Apart from the fact that some Egit has gone and used Comic Sans as the font throughout the entire presentation. There's only one thing worse than Comic Sans, and that's people who actually pronounce it Comic Sans. I apologize if you're one of them, it's French, and the font is horrible. Um, I know there are some people in education saying, oh, well, it's a fantastic font for people who are dyslexic. Actually, uh, the Dyslexic Association have denied that it's the best font. And in fact, there are far better fonts available for people who have dyslexia. Um, however, Comic Sans is just not a good font, and I personally hate it with a passion. I think probably you can start to tell that. Um, however, if you have a PowerPoint presentation and you have a font throughout which is appalling, you want to replace it, or perhaps it's a licensed font, you want to be able to share your presentation and can't because the font is restricted, what do you do? Well, you don't go through every single text box on every single slide looking for the particular font and changing it manually. Instead, what you do is go to the Home tab at the top and then on the right hand side find the Replace tool in the uh, Editing section. Click on the drop down arrow to the right hand side of the Replace tool and choose Replace Fonts. This will now in the top box list all of the fonts which have been used in your presentation. You can see there's Comic Sans MS uh, which has been included. So I will select that and say can you replace all of the instances of Comic Sans with and now I can choose uh, whatever font I prefer. I'm going to go for a trebuchet. MS uh, and that's it. Click replace and instantly all of the examples of Comic Sans have been removed. There is no example of Comic Sans anywhere in this presentation and instead every instance of Comic Sans has been replaced with Trebuchet which is a fantastically time-saving tool. Thank you Microsoft. I hope that saved you some time and spared you a headache. If it has please give this video a wonderful thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already to the Tech Train why on earth not? Please click that little subscribe button now and remember to click the little bell so you get subscription notifications whenever a new video is released. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, thank you very much indeed for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.